Every day is going to bring some different problems or different joys. You got to move on. Playing football really made me the person I am. I want to be back playing with my teammates. I want to be back working out. I want to be back doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I want to be back on the field. I wanted to play again this year. Nobody thought I was going to play again this year but me. In 2017, Texan safety Andre Howe posted his best season. 16 starts, fourth in tackles, and led the team in interceptions. But in May, as the former seventh round pick prepared for this season in Houston, everything that he worked so hard for would be tested. I'm, you know, working out the best shape of my life. I'm feeling great, you know, I'll go out there one day. I thought of my allergies, my eyes watering, my, you know, my nose kind of, you know, running, and I'm like, okay, something, something's not right. Then my vision got blurry. So I was like, oh, hold on, something really ain't right. Unable to identify the cause of Andre's blurred vision, team trainers took him to the hospital. We did more tests and more tests, and I stayed up for a week, and they figured out I had Hodgkin lymphoma. What was it like hearing from the doctor that you were, uh, that you had cancer? When they first told me, you know, I had cancer, it just was, uh, I couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't really accept it. Determined not to miss the 2018 season, Andre elected to forego chemotherapy and began alternative drug treatments. His body responded. I kept on doing, I just kept on doing those treatments and um, four months later, cancer free. It was a relief. With his cancer in remission, Andre eyed his return to the field for week seven against the Jaguars. Coach said, okay, we're going to activate you, Dre. And I was just so excited. All the team, you know, they gave me, you know, a standing ovation. And everybody was happy for me. But uh, from all the stuff I went through, you know, from the beginning to, to now, it was, it was worth it. His joy was tempered quickly. Just 17 days after learning he was cancer-free, Andre's father, Andre Sr., suffered a massive heart attack that left him unconscious. I called the phone that Friday before he had, before he had the heart attack, and uh, he didn't answer the phone. That was kind of hard for me not to, for him not to know that I was going to be playing again, but I felt like, you know, he hurt when I told him when he was uh, in the hospital bed. With family at his side, Andre Howe Sr. passed away on October 16th. He was 55 years old. My family said, go. I was going to stay home and, you know, be with my family and grieve, but uh, they said, go. This way, that's where he wanted you to be. I said, okay, you're right. I had, I had to honor him because I think that's what he wanted. Just five days after losing his father and nearly five months after a cancer diagnosis, Andre Hal stepped onto the field as an active player again. He went through all that to get back on this field. So don't ever take this for granted. Before the game, I just looked up, you know, thank God for the opportunity. And I, you know, I thank God for my, for my father, for being who he was. Feeling his presence with me on the field, it made me feel real good. I was out there playing ball. Like some plays I just, just out there playing and it, just, it, it felt good. I'm resilient. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I feel like Anything is possible if you really believe it. <laughs>